Hello, I'm Sydney, and this is Crafty Squirrel. Today, I have a special surprise for you. This is a mailbox, and today, I'm going to be painting on it. So, let's get right into that. Okay, as you can see, this thing is obviously too big for the camera. So, I'm trying to fix this, but you can't really see to the ends, and it's not working, so I'm just going to fix it off camera. Okay, that's better. So I have the sketch and I started to paint, but since I didn't feel like mixing up my own color, I was just using this random color and it was a fabric paint. So of course, since I'm using fabric paint, it was very transparent. So I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna wipe it off and just mix up my own color. And when doing so, I got paint on my hand. Great. Okay. So as I'm painting this, I'm trying to make it look realistic and adding some shading to it. And I'm also just trying to make it look good since this is going to be a gift and I really want to put my best into it. Also, as I was doing this, I tried to wipe away the paint that was on my hand, but um, yeah, that didn't really work. So you're going to have to deal with that for the rest of this. So I'm making sure that the stem is nice and thin and adding all the colors, pushing and pulling those values. And now I'm going to mix up a light highlight for it to really just bring out that detail. I'm starting to fill in the pe petals with a light red color, not quite a pink. I just mixed some white into it. And for some reason when I was doing this, I was getting green paint on it somehow. I don't know. And I'm just filling this in. One thing that's annoying about having your palette out of frame is that your hand keeps just popping out of frame every single time you get more paint, which is kind of annoying. So now that I have that mostly filled in, I'm going to start adding some shading to it. So I have a dark color here, and I'm just defining the tips of some of the petals and also the the petals themselves. You couldn't really see it when it was just one solid color. So I'm making sure that you can see that there's multiples. Now I'm just adding, making it a little bit darker and blending it together. And now I'm using a lighter color to really define them, make it almost look like round and real. Now that that's done, I'm going to start filling in the hummingbird. I wanted to make the hummingbird one of those like rainbow hummingbirds and I wanted it to be really like colorful and fun to really pop off that background. And as I was doing this, I'm making sure I blend it together correctly. So I'm trying to just keep all those details with it. Also, I know there's like the feathers on it, but uh, I'll do those in after. Also, my hand just randomly pops into frame. I don't know. You know, I just realized you can see the crafting table in the very corner of the screen, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, I'm starting to fill in the darker blue and I'm blending those two together and then I'm going to add in some purple at the top to complete the full rainbow. At first I was going around the eye and then I realized I didn't have to. I could just dot that in afterwards. Now I'm starting to fill in the legs with the black to make them pop from that really colorful hummingbird. And I'm also going to fill in the wings purple. And now I have, wait, what is this? What's happening? It's just a Posca paint pen. These things are basically like markers that have paint in them, not ink. So I'm just using to add the feathers to the bird and a bit of definition also. Now I'm just finishing up the detail and I decided to add an outline to it because some of the edges were kind of rough and I wanted to make it match with how the feathers looked. So I'm just uh, outlining the wings now and finishing it up and then my shirt pops into frame hello and after I'm finishing that 
I decided to outline the flower. Even though it's like realistic, I think it needed something to really make it pop and stand out. I'm also just outlining the petals a little bit. And now that that's done, I'm going to start filling in the sky. I'm using this blue color. It's like a sky blue. Duh. <laughs> and I'm also going to be using a smaller paintbrush to really get into all those details. Now I'm going to just finish that up where it here is. And now that that is almost all finished, I'm going to start on the blending. I wasn't sure how I wanted to blend it, but I decided I wanted to do sort of like, um, what do you even call this? It's like you're blending, but not super smooth blending. I wanted to do this because I knew that I wouldn't be able to perfectly blend it in with the white mail blocks. If it were wet paint, I would, but since this is dry, it's not paint, I'm going to have to make it a little bit more rough. So I'm working with lighter and lighter shades of blue. And now this is almost done. I'm just finishing it up. And I'm also going to paint on the top of the mailbox a little bit. Not too much, just to continue that blend. And now it's pretty much done. So now that I'm finished painting it, I'm going to go in and fix up some of the lining. I accidentally painted over it in a few parts. Except the problem with doing this is that I didn't wait for the paint to dry. So that happened. The joys of being impatient. So I'm cleaning that up now. And I'm going back in with the line art, being a bit more careful this time. And now I'm going to start with the hummingbird, just filling in some of the wings and also the legs. And now I'm almost done with the line art. And it's finished now. So I really like the way this looks. I also signed it in the bottom, as you can see. That's my signature. And I just really like the way this looks. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.